Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to the Cat Lady. Previously in the Cat Lady, we found out some stuff from Mitzi, and now we've killed ourselves and respawned in the crazy couple's house. I sure wonder where our friend is. Cat Grabber? It's what they use for catching cats. I thought these grabbers were banned some time ago. Strange noise is coming from the other side of the door. I don't know if I should open that. Stairs. Mmm, gun. I'll just use cat grabber. Collecting guns must be his little passion. If only I could reach one of them. But they're all right next to him. He'd wake up for sure. He's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk, or on drugs. Regardless of that, I have no chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong, and insane. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I'll have to use my wits to get rid of him. This must be his private room. He sits there all day playing with his guns, while ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. No, I can't use that right yet. Okay. Gotta be careful. They don't make them like this anymore. Surprisingly nice house. I hear footsteps. Those mine. All I see is fog. I could never find my way home. Dark in here. Hearing creaks. Don't like this one bit. Where's the wife? Maybe I can switch out these light bulbs. Can't touch it, but I can't use the cat grabber. I think that'd be like a logical thing to do with that, but... Too bad. Kitchen. Clock. It's an old grandfather clock. Looks like it's still working. It's too much to expect this to be unlocked, right? Oh, hello there. Glass is on one side of the window is broken. So this is where the draft is coming through. Inside, I can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair. I'm almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here. Through the window, I can see where these animals mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I could find a spare key somewhere. Part of the wall is badly damaged. He had probably driven his van into it once. Damaged as it is, I can't quite pull the brick out of just my fingers. So Cat Grabber is not for that. We'll just go for a little stroll in the woods. See if this gets us anywhere. See where I'm going. I'll just make a complete circle, go right back to the house. I think I'm just walking in circles. Probably. What? Huh? 
Wasn't sure what that was. Oh. I'm afraid that she's gonna be in the kitchen. It's like an obvious place you'd be preparing food in the kitchen, but I'll go in anyway. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. There's nothing like a bottle of red with your medium rare cat steak. This is where she cooks. Dirty pants still sneak of an old cat stew. My god. They eat cats. And now they want to eat the cat lady. They're all terribly blunt. Can hardly function as weapon. Damn. Take a knife. There's blood smeared all over it. Door is stuck, but maybe that's better. I'm not sure I want to know what's inside. This is actually pretty tense. Where is the old woman? Filthy remains of many meals through the dining table. With a strong stench of wanted food. I don't need to hide at the moment. But I will soon. A small painting of a street stall at night. Oh my god, there's cat head on the table. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. Cats call for me. They need my help. Whenever the cat signal is signaled, the cat lady must take her leave and enter the night. It's a communal mailbox. It holds all tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, about how we ended up this way. Come to take my cats, are you? Was the car driving by supposed to be intimidating? Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away, and not a soul would notice. But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Always look on the bright side, they say, and I always do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? It's none of your fucking business. You also talk really weird. Like you got that gas mask on all the time. Like you're some kind of fucked up pest control version of Bane. And no one cared who you were until you put on the mask. Don't be such a scaredy cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? A kind man had described to me what you look like. That fucker! And what, what can I say? It was spot on. What do you want? 
I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. I'm dropping Baldy off the fucking edge now, of the building later. You ain't gonna like it, sweetheart. But I'm taking you for a ride. Fucking Baldy. It was probably a nice tea towel once, a long time ago. Now it's just a dirty piece of rag. There must be at least 20 balls of bleach in the box. Probably combine something, make a kind of... Oh my god. What is going on out here? Is this where they wash? This water looks very odd. Like a mixture of dirt and melted fat and petrol. No, this is where they dump people in acid. What is it doing in the bath? It's all rusted and covered in slime. The water is absolutely disgusting. The smell alone makes me wretch. I gotta use the grabber. I got it. Okay. It's a garden shed. I really don't like the look of it. No, no. Piles of meat. Could it be human too? I could probably find something useful in those shelves, but first I need her to go away. I think we'll leave. Yeah, let's let's get out of here. I think she's gonna come up behind me any second now. Any second. Where are you? I hope you can't teleport in front of me. No, oh, okay. You're fine. Let's see if this unlocks this. Jesus. What a horrible stench. What's this? It seems this idiot does everything his creepy wifey from hell tells him to. He brought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when I'm done here. It stinks of blood and sweat. How about it can it was till I put on the mask? We haven't gone upstairs yet. Oh, we can't even go upstairs even if we want to. Use this cloth to remove the light bulb. Maybe we need both. Take both. That way we can do a sneaking mission later. One lamp. The books look like they haven't been touched for a long time. Maybe they've been left here by the previous owners. What's that? An old phone book. That could be useful. I'm not sure whose number to look for. It's not like I have any friends that I could call for help except Mitzi! It's from ten years ago. Still, I don't know what to look for. Well, we wouldn't have Mitzi. Well, no, we can't. Yeah, we actually, we can call our apartment. Because you can call in, but you can't call out. Of course, I don't know where to tell her to find me. There's a sticker with the number on the base. Hmm. Looks like something important. Let's try calling. I 
remember my own number. Damn it, Susan. I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. It would have been the most logical thing to do. Police emergency line, how can I help you? My name is Susan Ashworth. I've been kidnapped. These people are crazy! They're going to eat me alive! I don't know what to do. Please. You've got to help me, please. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? What? It's irrelevant. I've been kidnapped. I'm not there. I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX4422DL, okay? Now please, do something. For God's sake! Calm down, Mom. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. No, but wait. He's an animal control guy. Drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're... They're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run away, but there's this fog. And I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a married couple, is that correct? No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family disturbance, Mum? What? No! Did you know this married couple prior to the incident? Are you related? Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Calm down, please. I'm only trying to help you, Mom. I need to establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched. Look, just track this number and you'll find where I am. You can do that, yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Of course, Mom. Stay on the line. Oh, did you witness cruelty to animals? What? You mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to animal welfare services for this area. Would you prefer that, ma'am? Are you joking? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. This is... Are the police just so awful over there? Ashworth, uh, are you still there? Yes, of course I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged yourself from the hospital. Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problems? No, it's not like that. Miss Ashworth, please listen to me very carefully. I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. I'm not fucking crazy. So, that's it. You're just not going to help me. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help, ma'am. It's best if you contact your doctors. Would you like me to give you their number in case you'd prefer to call them yourself? Oh, don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. I don't understand this. Is this how they do things over there? I can't imagine that. Whenever you call 911 in America, it's just... What's going on? Is this happening? Okay, we're sending someone. 
It's pretty pretty efficient. That's one of the things about here. I'm sure that's just a character in this game, though. I hope so. Well, let's see what this final number is. What should be the cell phone? Oh god. It's pointless. It must be this phone's number. My number's here. I better memorize it. It might come in handy. Alright, now we can finally call my flat. Come on, Mitzi. Answer the phone. Uh, hello? Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Ms. Ashworth? No, fuck the police. Just like that song. I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas, and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a... parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. The police won't be coming to rescue me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Shit. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask, got it? Yep. Thanks. And I think this is going to be useless, but I'll try it anyway. Do you have to call the police? Yes, of course. I will, Miss Ashworth. But, wait. What should I tell them? Do you know where you are? No idea. Out of town? Somewhere? Have you tried talking to the police yourself? Yeah. They think I'm nuts. Shit. What are you going to do then? I'm going to take care of it myself. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. I heard someone say once. Oh god. I wish I could do something. Anything. Just call them and say that I've gone missing. Maybe they'll put two and two together and actually take my call seriously at last. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. Commence operation. Poison a fucker. Oh shit. This is just going to be a recurring thing, isn't it? So let's see. Painting. Block this. Stops here from going into the cellar. So we can make that gas. Just need some pesticide now. Alright, got a loose brick. We'll use the brick to smash open the window, get the phone, and then I'm going to call the house's phone to distract the girl. I think that's what we got to do here. 
depth. This is not going to be very subtle. Got the mobile phone. Maybe I have to hide under the table before I do this. Mushy mush. Now we play the sneaking mission. I wonder if Senpai is calling me. God, that's ironic. Alright, we can get that shit now. Get what we need. the pesticide. Right, we're out of here. Just keep on walking, lady. Keep on walking. It'll be all over soon. All right, let's go poison some people. Now you have my permission to die. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, sh Wish your death was a little more satisfying, but I'll have to do. It's time. Come out, come out. Time for a little bit of karmic destiny. Not in here. Hmm. Where are you hiding? Life's a real fucker, ain't it? Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. Are you alright? How did you get back? I walked. You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? I saw a monster. So that's it for the Cat Lady, Part 7. Well, we got our revenge, and it was pretty damn satisfying, I must say. But I imagine there's not much rest for Susan, as long as there's more parasites to kill. It's just kind of only going to get worse. Anyway, so thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the Cat Lady, Part 8.